one of the offense that Fela committed, which he has to apologize, is that when Fela was alive, he sang a song and he called it Zombie and he sang it for the Nigerian soldiers without including the Nigerian Christian. I didn't say Christian, I said Nigerian Christian. When a person like Shionkuti and I, or Daddy Fris, talk about Christianity, most of these people think we are complaining just because of what they are benefiting from the church. No, it is the power that the European and the British still have over Nigeria through religion and education. That is what we are still talking about. How many pastors in Nigeria would tell their congregation that after you read your Bible, go and read history, pre-colonialism, and after colonialism. The only place I use in blaming sometimes Shionkuti when he talks about the Christian, including myself, is when we think that we are talking to people and we are not talking to programmed people. If you listen to a song over and over again, bad music such as Charlie Poppy, you don't need to like the song, but if you hear it over and over again, you begin to sing it. Most of the Christians of Nigeria has only listened to the name of Jesus and they so much they are convinced they have have what we call belief, which is a mental acceptance of the religion without challenging every law and every religion and every culture that is being given to you that cannot be questioned. There's a clause and there's something that is wrong with it. It is only in the affairs of Christians you hear that God, the creator of heaven and earth, the owner of everything, needs your money to do something. But he doesn't spend it. He gives it to the pastors. And you guys jubilate and the pastor give few back to, to to little people in the church and all of that and you call it a, a non-profit organization what churches have profit from people a lot of them if not all are supposed to be in jail when see mama die pastor they tell him how he's supposed to take a cry when you lost your mother or you lost your family it is not in the position of any human being on earth to tell you how to grieve things Nigeria has gone through a lot and we are paying the price for certain ignorance, negligence and errors that we've made by allowing colonialism, by allowing the British, the Europeans to come into our system. And now we are grieving for these things. And pastors will tell us that we are not supposed to grieve while the pastors are the one collecting the money. And they tell us how we are supposed to grieve over the pain while they still extort us, while they still extort the common Nigerian and the Catholic and the rest of them will take the money and they still give it to Pope whenever the Pope needs the money. The only good thing that has come out of Christianity is the idea of schools, education. And I want you to know something. It is not the consciousness of the Europeans and British to educate you, to liberate you. The purpose of the education was to indoctrinate you so you can study their religion. Read history carefully. The reason why British and European give you education was not to liberate you, was not to open your eyes or increase your consciousness or awareness. It was so that you can read this book that they are giving to you, which is the religious book. And what is the purpose of that religious book? so that you would not take revenge. Christianity was pushed to you so that you would not revenge. You ask me why will I say that? It is simply because they did not give you the free, your freedom because they want to give you your freedom. They gave you your freedom because they were under attack and the British saw that they were about to crumble if they don't give the African, if the African also take this power and they combine with their enemies and other forces. They've learned that lesson from America. That is why they gave you your liberation. That is why you have your freedom. The education was not too <laughs> But then they saw it as another opportunity to continue the mental slavery. If they are gone, if, colon if Nigeria is not under colonialism, please, what is Catholic and Anglican and Baptist Church still doing in Nigeria? How many of our people have in Jew, in Jewish, in European, in British, how many African black Nigerians have churches there that is as big as Catholic? Let's not even say as big as Catholic, that is owned by a black Nigerian. They won't give you the same opportunity you give to them. The most expensive schools, who have them? The reason why our education is becoming more expensive is because theirs is very expensive and there are certain people who are willing to pay the money. If Nigerians are the ones that are regulating the whole education system, 
do you think it will be as expensive as it is if all the catholic schools all the missionary and all the garbage that they've been telling us all their schools does not exist till today including their universities are still the most expensive ones that is why other ones will look at it like if these people can collect this money and certain privileged nigerians can pay for these things why not we increase ours and then we have low outcome of graduates and even the graduates when they speak on youtube when they speak on other social media they speak just like an illiterate because the university is not functioning we have a lot to learn and i have a lot to teach i study a lot my problem is not against christianity but let me say this sometimes the devil does something good even while he's trying to do something bad when devil put jesus on the cross of calvary and led them to go and nail jesus if he knew that would be his glory he wouldn't have nailed him christians used to say it but let me put it this way it is the same thing the the the, the, the british never knew giving us religion and all of that would open our eyes but in fact it did not open our eyes if we think that education has really opened our eyes we have been indoctrinated because Nigeria would have moved forward regardless. We had things that were working for us before they came. Some of you say, what is working for us? Go and read book. Go and read more. Because when we tell you the things that are happening in this country, when we tell you about the history, all what a lot of you have to do is to sit back on your computer and insult to insult the person who is passing the message that should increase or that should open your consciousness, your awareness of life. Most Nigerians who believe in Christianity, you don't know where you're coming from. How would you know where you are in the world, in the society today? Most of you don't know where you are. You accept where you are. And these people, you think they are here with you. They are, they are in the same level with you. They are not in the same level with you. When they are done with you, a lot of people will be instinctive. Why not save yourself and know the secrets of life? Know the secret of your story. Know where you came from. I'm not saying go and believe in it. But if you read the story and you know the person will kill your mama, will kill your papa, and the person now in the, you can't they work for, I beg, what thing you go do? The moment where you know saying that the person kill your mama, your papa. If you decide not to revenge, what you do is you take the step that align with the vision of your parents in the first place. Do you think that the current religion of Christianity, why am I not attacking Muslim? Why am I emphasizing on Christianity? It's because that is where the problem is coming from. Muslim has over 1 million mosques in Nigeria and they all pray. And I'm not saying abolish all religion. I'm saying, don't you think it's time for us to regulate and give back what belongs to Caesar to Caesar? Give back every Catholic and churches that belong to the Europeans and British. Give it back to them and start with yours and see where it's going to go but when you hold on to the gift of the devil that appears in the name of god you will remain stuck with it because you don't know what to do with it and you are already enslaved with it if i challenge any pastor in nigeria to tell their members to go and read history pre-colonialism and after colonialism and during colonialism and i will bet you See how many members will be remaining in your church that will be screaming hallelujah. But because you're blind and you have programmed them, they never even read the Bible way because you have to be there to interpret the Bible for them. But even with a common sense, let them read history and let's see how many people will shout hallelujah. The problem is that the power of the European and British is still in Nigeria. We are not complaining because they enslaved us we are not complaining when we talk about christianity because of colonialism we are complaining because the power structure of the european and british still exists and they still control the affairs of nigeria and you think a common man with a common sense should not be able to know where the problem is coming from mm. <laughs> i will be speaking more on this subject by sunday keep programming them for the kingdom of heaven <laughs>